friendos, it's time to cancel that appointment that you have with your crazy aunt to go foraging in the wood for wild mushrooms because today we have a review to do. It's Lawless Day and we're going to be reviewing the Lavender The One palette and their new tinted lip balm. And don't forget, we still have that giveaway going on, so be sure to listen up for that secret word hidden in today's video. Okay, friendos, if you're ready, then just stay tuned. So let's start out with this palette. I wasn't sure what the size was gonna be on this. I was not expecting it to be so tiny. So yeah, my hand, the palette. Inside though, we have eight beautiful shades. We have a periwinkle, a lavender, a skin tone shade, something very shimmery. Let's give this one a swatch, shall we? Very glimmery, has a little bit of a lilac lavendery shimmer. And then this one right here. Ooh, this one is very, very creamy. That's gorgeous as well. You know what, why don't we just watch them all? There's only eight. So the dark shade, the true lavender, the periwinkle shade. I think that one did not swatch that great, you guys. And then the light pink shade. That one too. These two did not swatch that great. That doesn't mean that they're going to apply poorly on the eyes. So let's put it to the test. So I'm gonna start out by taking this periwinkle shade all over my lid. I always like really periwinkle shades. Just that blue purple gradient effect always draws me in. And this went on nicely. What the heck? I was not expecting it to go on so good. It is a bit powdery, but I'm not seeing fallout on my face. So that's a plus. So friendos, I wanna hear from you guys. Have you tried out much from the Lawless brand? And if so, what have you tried? Was there anything that you liked? Anything that really stands out to you? For me, it's been their blushes. I feel like they just have one of the best formulations of blushes I've ever tried. So I've put essentially no effort into getting this <laughs> pigment down and it looks great. I'm very impressed. So as you can see, there's a lot of kick up in the pan, but I'm not complaining. As long as it's not all over my face, I'm happy. Okay, now I want to dive into the darkest shade in the palette, this one right here. And I'm just going to go in and make sort of circular motions right there at the outer edge of my eye. So this one is just not that dark. From the palette, it doesn't look like it's a black or anything, but yeah. I wish that I had put something in here that's a little bit darker. And it does appear darker in the pan than how it's showing up on the eye. Okay, so the next shade I want to go into is this brown shade. I'm not going to clean off my brush or anything because I'm going to be swiping that over the color that I just put down. Since they're getting blended together anyway, I figure it doesn't really matter. Now to just smooth everything out, I think I'll go in with the lilac shade that we see right here. It's really more of a lavender. I don't know why I said lilac. I need some caffeine, you guys. You guys can DoorDash me some coffee. My address is... Okay, guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, so I think for my lower lash line, what we should do is go back in with the shade I was just playing in, take it down there. All right, so then I'm carefully with this brush right here, which I shouldn't be using for this, but it's one of my only clean brushes left. I'm going to spray it. Yeah, this is the pink shimmer shade. I'm gonna dot that under here. You know, she brought the sparkle. Okay, so then we're gonna dive into this beautiful shade right here. You guys probably wanna see it without me spraying my brush, so it's a dry nail. Ooh, that was lackluster. That was very lackluster. Now, most of you guys don't have a problem with putting the shimmer shades on using just your fingy. I'm not very good with that. I'm kind of clumsy. So I'm gonna try to put this on with the brush and spray my brush. So this definitely looks really pretty on top of the shades that I have down. Really nice ethereal glow. Now I am noticing some fallout down here despite me spraying my brush. 
All right, friendos, I feel like this look was really easy to accomplish. It didn't take that much effort. My overall thoughts on this palette is that I'd probably give this palette a B minus. I was shocked at how good this lavender is. If you guys own the original Norvina, you know that there is a shade in there that's very similar to this one. It's not exact, but very similar. This one is so much better. If you bought Norvina specifically for that shade, because you know, not a lot of periwinkle shades get launched in these palettes because usually they're not very good. They're very hard to formulate. This was a good one. And the palette's not that expensive. This palette was only $27. I'm going over to Sephora to tell you a little bit more about it. It says on there that it's an ultra wearable, lavender inspired, talc free eyeshadow palette featuring eight matte and shimmer shades in neutral and lavender tones. Yeah, we got that. It's also talc free and it's considered to be clean beauty. Okay, so I'm gonna step off camera to finish up my liner and lashes and I'll be right back to you guys. All right, my friendos, we're back. I've got this look done. Let's get everything polished up. Now, some of you may have already seen my short on this tinted lip balm. So again, this is from Lawless. This is the shade Lover. So just so you can see how much product you get. Good amount. So they're calling this the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tinted Lip Balm. I don't really have a lot of lines in my lips. My lips are a little bit chapped, so let's just see. I have worn this before. I do already have some thoughts on it. This is not a one swipe coverage lip tint. No, it's not. Keep in mind, it is labeled a tinted balm. So balm being the operative word there. So I could stop right about here if I wanted, or I could keep going. So as you can see, you can build it up. My one qualm with this tint is it's kind of big and bulky. So just to give you an idea, look at this in relationship to my lip. It's really hard to get precise application in the smaller parts of my lip. Like let's say the edges, I feel like I need to go through and clean that up. Maybe put on lip liner if I'm using this for saturation. If I just want a clear balm, I probably wouldn't notice that it had gotten outside of what I would like to be my desired borders of my lips. Okay, so I'm going to now bronze my skin up with some hourglass bronzer. I probably need to move this off my desk, you guys, because I'm constantly reaching for it. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that today's secret word is lawless, L-A-W-L-E-S-S. -S. Be sure to make a creative sentence with that in the comment section down below if you want to enter. And then we have this lawless blush, and this is the Make Me Blush Velvet Blush in the shade Sakura. So yeah, I do feel like out of all my blushes, this is the one that I have been gravitating towards the most. It's probably the nicest skin finish of all my blushes. It's very, very similar to Makeup by Mario. Makeup by Mario is just a tad bit more satin. This one, I would not call it matte, but I would just say it was skin-like. Okay, and I think I'll finish up today by using this Versace Dylan Purple. I do have a full review up on my channel right now. Really been enjoying this perfume. So guys, you gotta tell me, what did you think of this eye look? What do you think of the palette? Did you think that it's worth the $27? It is kinda small, I must say. Which brings us to the big question of the day, does size matter? Next time we'll be rating and reviewing the sandwich that my sister's boyfriend made for her. There's no lettuce or tomatoes, so I'm gonna guess one, this one's kind of like a D minus. <laughs> <laughs> Did he even put a pickle in there? We have cloths and pickles downstairs. Oh my God, F, fail, get out of here. Get out of here now. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs and have a pickle party with the cloths and pickles in the fridge. Hope you guys have a phenomenal rest of your day. Please don't hesitate, give this video a like if you did have a good time here today. I definitely enjoy spending time talking to you guys in the comments, so let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to leave that secret word for the contest. Best of luck to all of you, and don't forget subscribe if you have not done so already, because if not, We'll both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing what could have been. Okay, friendos, have a phenomenal rest of your day. Goodbye. All right, pickle party. Pickle, 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 pickle party. Party. Pickle, pickle 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 party.
party.